Expect life, a dream or a nightmare? Well, it all depends because every story is very unique. But I'm just saying that if it was such a nightmare, there wouldn't be so many expats around the world. I'm going to share my pros and cons from the hardest moment to the best ones. Because yes, I did Americanize myself over the years. This video is a bold and no filter, real picture of real expat life after a short introduction. Hi, my name is Margot. 10 years ago, I had a dream to move to New York and I made it come true. I learned a lot, as you can guess, so if you're interested in cross-cultural and living abroad stories, this channel is for you. Make sure to subscribe, hit the bell button, so you won't miss any future content. The hardest one is definitely the loss of flexibility in terms of traveling, because let's face it, it's a cost. And for a while, maybe at the beginning, or at least the time you are adapting to your new financial system, you may have to choose between visiting your family or having fun time or vacation. But holding your old ones you haven't seen for a long time is priceless. I will insist on this first one because dealing with long distance family members is a challenge. And there are family moments you are going to miss and it's not refundable. I'm going to stop there before getting emotional. You get the point. Why I truly believe it's absolutely beneficial to explore the world for young adults and our own potential. There are moments you are going to miss and you cannot change that anymore. Missing the birth, the birthdays and special moments with your nephews and nieces, for example. Adapting to a country for its hardest part is compensated by its easy sports. For example, in America, the social net is very challenging. I'm talking about education, healthcare, but it's compensated by the fact that on the work side, there is much more flow and opportunities that at the end, it's really worth it. At least in my opinion, the best part, frankly, especially in New York, you have a part, a small part of every corner of the world in the same city with food or any network. Even though technically all New Yorkers are not expats, most of them are not from New York, at least from birth. You could spend how many hours you want on Duolingo in your own country. You will never make as much progress than the moment you would have to negotiate a contract or fight for a medical bill. I've been there, believe me. <laughs> but among the food, the language, the part of your adopted country that is easier than your native one, you will be changed forever. And your perspective on people and societies will be expanded and enriched, hopefully. Having had to recreate a feeling of being home put me in places where I had to redefine very important stuff and ask myself very important questions, such as what is my real purpose? How could I get there and be a better version of myself? Priceless, isn't it? Thanks for watching. If you are dreaming or planning of an expat life, let me know in the comment section below. Many thanks for your thumbs up and likes. It helps to expand the community. Thanks for watching. See you soon. A bientôt.